Singapore's famous shopping strip is set to come alive in a blaze of colour and music as it tries to woo people back for Christmas. Besides its annual light-up, Orchard Road will also feature augmented reality and virtual tours. But beneath the bells and whistles is a simple Christmas hope. Chua Tian Tian tells us more. It hasn't been the most wonderful time for Orchard Road after nearly two years of COVID-19 and accompanying restrictions. But with vaccinations in full swing, travellers returning and Christmas around the corner, hope blooms. To have a message of hope uh, as we move towards a new normal and, and hopefully a further opening up of our economy will be you know, something that brings some festive cheer to, to what's been a pretty tough year for us. And in less than a month's time, festive lights along a 3.1 kilometre stretch of Orchard Road, starting from Tanglin Mall behind me to Plaza Singapore right in front, will be switched on to spread cheer over the year and holidays. Accompanying the dazzle will be arches lined with poinsettias and white roses. For the first time, there'll be a nightly augmented reality show. Christmas carols will make a comeback after three years. And for those taking digital tours, buskers to add to the festive atmosphere. I think the point isn't really that you know we want a lot of people to come to Orchard Road. I think we want to keep businesses going. We want we want enough people to come down to Orchard Road and patronize our businesses here. Okay, and we would like tourists to remember that there is a great Christmas light up in Singapore. This cafe is banking on the holidays to recoup earnings that have halved over the past year. For the restaurants themselves, we'll be offering special Christmas menus. We're also partnering with e-commerce partners to sell uh, vouchers for people who want to uh, dine in at Wild Honey. While the festive season is a rare ray of optimism for businesses, a lot is out of their hands. Retailers, as well as the visitors to Singapore, would also look at the numbers of infections and how much of it is under control by then, and whether the government is supportive of open, opening up more measures uh, to encourage footfall traffic. According to official data, Christmas spending across Singapore hit a low of $4 billion last year, compared to $4.3 billion in 2018.